Oh boy. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite places in the backyard. These stairs, these cockamamie stairs. I've, as, as you will recall, I did a lot of deck repairs for this dry rot deck area here and it still looks good. It's about two or three years later and everything looks fine. No leaks, no nothing. But I have tried to patch these stairs three different winters. Okay, we get snow here, it gets free, below freezing, we get a little bit of snow, uh, some rain and stuff, and these stairs are sloping backwards just a little bit. Whoever framed this, whoever put the stair stringers in, they should have made it so that these uh, stair treads uh, sloped down at an angle, but they don't. And see, uh, when they, when, when the water hits on there, it can't come out until it builds up about three sixteenths to a quarter inch of the back side. Then the water can come out. So the water just sits there. And, and as you can see, I caulked this all the way around and stuff before it wasn't caulked. So where do you suppose the water went? It went underneath the stairs. Where do you suppose that was? That's underneath the actual house. Because see, those stairs are built right up in there and here we've got a nice stucco wall here with some nice stucco columns here and there's no crawl hole area in that area you got to you got to gain access from from underneath the house okay so when those stairs leak the water goes underneath and that's what caused all the dry rot the mold the mildew and all that kind of stuff and so my thought process was a few years ago was to was to seal all these stairs but not only seal it but put something on top of this wood to build it up from the back side about a quarter inch five sixteenths and then taper it on down to uh, nothing here and every time i tried to do that and finish it off that winter or the next spring all the stuff on the material would be popped and everything and Here's my question to you. What would you do with these stairs? These are these are over 20 years old now. These are glue lamb beam material. See, you can see there's a 2x4, there's a 2x4, 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 all glued together, and they use that as a beam material, and they cut it, and, it, and it's the same size as a 4x12 Douglas fir. Now, see, the, here's the top two stairs are 4x12s. I installed those brand new from before, these were all dry rotted out. I had to cut them out, notch them, put them all in. I thought, nothing doing. I'm not going to put these, these uh, glue lamb beam material back in there. I'm going to use, I'm going to use that. So when I built those two, I, I furred up the back side. These are sloping out the way they should be on these first two, but none of these other ones are. And I tried, the question for you is, what would you use on top of this material to, to uh, float it out? build up the back, float it down to nothing without it cracking out during the winter. What would you use? I, I tried, I tried uh, rock hard water putty. That didn't work. I tried fix it all. That didn't work. And when I read on the bag, most of the time fix all, you use interior purposes, but it said you could use it on the exterior if you covered it with a waterproof material. And I put, I put two coats of of exterior primer on it, two coats of uh, exterior paint on it after after the uh, the fix it all, and that didn't work. It looked really good when I got all done. Oh yeah, it looked fine. But after the winter, it cracked all up, and I took that out. So then I put I used some thin set material, some really expensive thin set material, thirty five dollars a bag instead of five dollars a bag. And I thought, well, maybe that stuff might might work. You use that for interior to install uh, before you install your tile on your backsplash or something like that. Use thin set material, and I used I used a thin set that that was supposed to be flexible and it was supposed to be strong. I, I tried that and put it all on there. The next the next winter, cracked all out. Okay, what else did I use? There's three different things I used, and I then I used a cement product. And here's, here's what I used the last time. It was called Rapid Set Cement All. Multi-purpose repair material, non-shrink grout. 
and uh, it was used high strength, very fast setting, durable, non sh non shrink, hardens underwater, interior, exterior. That's why I decided to use that. Uh, casting, industrial grouting, anchoring, underlayment, concrete repair. Well, here's the thing. I, I tried that. That didn't work. That cracked out. And um, and then I, I took that up. Any cement material that I figure is will work from cement. And if you're putting it on cement, you're repairing some cement. Well, these stairs aren't cement, are they? They're wood steps. I even went to Dow Tile and Bedrosian's Tile and asked the guy there at, at their main desk where you order all the materials and stuff. I told him I told him my dilemma and I said, do you have a product that you can use on the exterior conditions that you can put on there, that you can float and you can taper down to nothing and that will uh, not crack in the winter? And no, they didn't have anything. He didn't, he, the, either both guys at, at both places could not tell me what to use. And I'm under the, uh, under, the assumption any any cement concrete material that I were, were to put on wood stairs I think the same thing would happen I think it would crack out and not work okay and so last last year I didn't do anything I, I ended up caulking everything really good and then I then I put two coats of sealer on here and I just left it I didn't do anything last year and I thought ah you know that'll that'll get me by one year because because I didn't want the water to leak down back in through here and, and I'm sure when the water uh, ran down here it would build up here before it would come out build up at the back side before it came out build up on the back side down here before it came out but here it is the next fall the next fall and I thought I need to do something to get these prepared and do something different that I have not tried yet Okay, that's what that's what I am going uh, to try next. Now, if you're fortunate enough to to <laughs> been watching this from the beginning, I'm going to show you at the end of this video what I'm going to use. Okay, and I'll don't worry, I'll make some more videos of that, and how to stop, how, how I'm going to apply it, and all that kind of stuff. And it came. Here's a tip. It came in these little those little containers right there. Look at that. Those containers are not very big, are they? They're only three pounds of material each. And I don't know how much of that material, uh, how far that material is going to go. And do you know that stuff costs $70 a little bucket pail? Can you believe that? If you would have told me I, I, I would even think about using something like this, I would say no way, no shape, way form nothing i would never spend 70 dollars a container to fix some stairs what's going on with this but i am going to try it and i'll talk about that in a minute i'm i'm actually going to start putting that on today i'll do that on my next video but you know these stairs i'm going to have to uh sweep them all off and and uh, check them out a little bit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I, I thought maybe I should put some more, some more regular caulking on here. I, I may have to do some prep work, as a matter of fact. In fact, I, I may not use any of that material today. I might just do some prep work and get these ready. Uh, Cause see, see this, this, this is from paint and and silicone. Uh, from the last time I painted this and stuff, like it just pulled out of. Of those and I, I need to I need to do a little bit of prep and maybe uh, I can put a little bit more caulking in there and stuff before I use this material because that material like I say 70 bucks a little pale it's not going to go very far especially with me building up this back side that's what all those screws were for if you watch any of my other videos you would know exactly why I put those screws on the back side because uh, when I used my other material, I floated it up to there and I put a straight edge on there So all those are the same height and then that could that would tell me how high to build up the back side Before I tapered it down to nothing. Okay, and I think I'm still gonna leave those screws there When I use this new material and once I once I install that new material I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna 
take it from here and then float it all the way down. I may just take it from there and float it down to nothing to here. You know what I mean? And at least get the water away from this inside corner and get it out here. And if it builds up a little bit, it's not going to be that much before it flows out to the front. You see what I mean? And so, uh, yes, a little bit of thought process on here. Uh, I'm going to have to check all this out. So what is this material anyway? <laughs>